Hello friends, this video on sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we will first talk about the vegetative cell, the one which is bigger in size. So it is bigger in size, it has abundant food reserve. So it has got all the food reserve with it so that it can pro provide nourishment to whatever is there inside it. Because you saw that this cell in many of the cases engulfs the smaller cell. So it should have enough food material to provide it for the nourishment of the other cells which is there inside it. It is an irregularly shaped nucleus so it doesn't have a specific shape as such. Uh, neither completely spherical nor completely spindle shaped. So no specific shape as such. It is also known as tube cell. This is important. Now the vegetative cell or the bigger cell is called tube cell. Why, why is it known as tube cell? Because this cell is responsible for the growth of the pollen tube. So it helps in the growth of pollen tube. Now you might ask what is this pollen tube now? So pollen tube, for now you just understand it this way, that pollen tube is that tube which helps in gamete transfer. So this tube will help to carry the pollen grains and help them to reach the female gamete. So it is very important, right? Without this tube, fertilization will not be able to take place. So this tube cell will help in the growth of the pollen tube. So this being important, so one has to take care of the formation of pollen tube and the other cell has to take care of the formation of male gametes and that is what the other cell does, that is the generative cell. So as I said, it is responsible for growth of pollen tube. Let us look at generative cell. It is smaller in size when compared to vegetative cell. It has a fixed shape and it is spindle shaped. So as you can see here, this is how uh, the shape of a spindle looks like. And that is why the shape of it is spindle shaped. It has a dense cytoplasm with a distinct nucleus. It floats in the cytoplasm of vegetative cell. Now that is quite obvious because the vegetative cell some, somehow engulfs it. So once it engulfs it, so it is obviously inside the vegetative cell. So it is like floating in the cytoplasm of the vegetative cell. And as I discussed in the previous slide that if this is the vegetative cell and this is the generative cell, so this generative cell will undergo mitosis which is also known as the pollen second mitosis and it will form two cells. So what are these two cells? Now the outer cell is what? The vegetative cell or the tube cell which helps in the uh, uh, growth of the pollen tube. And what are the two cells which are formed inside? These two cells are nothing but the Basically, they will give rise to the male gametes. They will form the male gametes and these male gametes will help in fertilization. So now you understand from where the male gametes come into picture. And you also see that even though the generative cell directly gives rise to the male gametes, but the vegetative cell is equally important because without that, fusion will not be able to take place. Now let us quickly look at some of the very important properties of pollen grains because of which it is also commercially used a lot. So what are they? It is considered to be very rich in nutrients. What kind of nutrients? It has got, it is very rich in carbohydrates. It also has a, a lot of protein content ranging from around 8% to 35% of its nutrient is nothing but protein. So proteins and carbohydrates are very good for our diet. So it is used for even human consumption and that is why these days you can actually find pollen tablets or syrups in the market and people consume them to gain energy. They can cause respiratory disorders and quite a few people have the pollen allergy because they are very, I mean if you have not seen pollen grains very closely you can actually try seeing them. If you take a, a hibiscus flower which is also known as the china rose, the red colored flower, you just try to pick up uh, the tip of the filament and then you see you will see very small extremely small tiny yellow colored powdery substance so that powdery substance is nothing but the pollen grain so many people tend to get respiratory disorders like some of the people as soon as they come in contact with lot of pollens they tend to sneeze some of them tend to catch cold so it, it actually does something wrong with your respiratory system like it, it can even cause diseases like asthma or bronchitis. 
it can cause pollen allergy, as I said. Uh, it helps in crop breeding programs. So that is something good about it. How does it help in crop breeding programs? The pollen grains are very easy to be stored. So, and not only easy, it is, it is also their speciality that they can be stored for years together. It is just that you have to keep them in liquid nitrogen. Now, when you can store pollen grains, so it is something good, right? Because you have the male gametes being stored with you. So when you have the male gametes with you, you can actually uh, pick up the male gametes of all the desired plants with you and you can keep it in a pollen band. And now when, when you want to uh, have more plants of a specific variety, you can make use of those pollen grains. So that way it helps in crop breeding programs. So these are some of the important properties and uses of pollen grains. So I think by now we have covered the male reproductive part of a flower. So what did we study? We studied that how and what is the structure of androsium. We studied about the microsporangium from where the formation of male gametes, the story of male gamete formation starts. Then we saw how the microspores were formed, how the microspores gave rise to the pollen grains and these pollen grains actually contain the male gametes. So we understood how the male gametes have formed. So the male gametes are now formed. Now we have to understand how the female gametes will form. So that is what we are going to do in the next section. Thank you. Please visit www.examphio.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.